Prosti. Prosti. Girl, so I know. How y'all doing? Prosti, it's been a while, IG. Michelle, I do Michelle, no shit. I'm Michelle, no shit, I really do. What's going on? How y'all doing? Girl, one thing about it and two things for sure. Wait, new car? I, I know, that's my same car. That's my same car. I get a new car. Yeah, I want a new car. What's going on? What is going on? Hey, y'all. Hey. It is a nice day. I'm finna go work out, though. I need to go get back in this gym, girl. <laughs> Girl, last night I binged. I had all kinds of shit. I wasn't supposed to have a hundred buns. I all kinds of. I, yesterday I was. I took an unapproved cheat day, bitch. <laughs> but girl, I'm going to get right back into it. Today. So I'm about to go to the gym. Just can't mess with y'all in a little while. It's just I want. Okay, so listen. I'm explaining something, y'all. I'm like for my IG people. Like we talk about stuff all the time, but I just want to know. So listen, what y'all like? Give y'all a brief update. So over there on the Beagle app, okay. There's a lot of people. So I'm in a relationship. I've been in a relationship technically since I looked at the date, September 3rd. Um, I don't want to keep dates and stuff with this person because you know why? I feel like I've known them. I feel like when it comes to Brian, I feel like I have known him for a while. I know y'all are going to sound crazy and all this stuff like that. And it's shaky, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get it. But let me tell y'all something. When you know, you know. You just know. And so I know. Y'all can hear me? Whatever happens to me, make it something about my prison stories. I gotta get somebody to write it, baby. I ain't. It's what you want me to do, bro. I can't do nothing about it. So, okay, let me explain something to y'all. When it comes to me, okay? Let me explain something to y'all when it comes to shaking. Let's do that. Okay, I'm a real bitch. Like, you just go, what, what you see is what you get. It is not no, it ain't no extra, it ain't no subtraction from that. It ain't, it's just what you see is what you get. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing else in the middle. Like, it ain't nothing else in the middle. Like, come at me real because I'm gonna I'm a be real. You know, whatever, whatever. If you want, if you want anything else, child, just you don't want nothing else. I'm gonna just say that, girl. Cause look, cause it, cause I get crazy. I could get like vicious. I could get real, real vicious, especially on these people' internet. Don't mess with me here. And so, several people have tried to. They come with some DMs from. Oh, he was in my DM six months ago. Bitch, you know how to, who DMs I was in six months ago? Everybody. Oh, he was in my DM last last three months ago. Oh, it was in my DM, but I curved him. He can't like you. He was in my DMs nine months ago. Bitch, he found out what kind of he found out what kind of pathetic loser you are, and he didn't want to be your DMs anymore. He curved you. So the girls have been coming at me with all this stuff about what this man did before he even knew I existed. He, they become, oh girl, watch him, cause he sent me a DM nine months ago. He was a single man. You are a single person, cause you still single. And you can't tell me about him being in your DM six months ago, I don't care. If he was in your DMs past September 5th, we might have some, boom, we might have some action. But I had, I didn't even meet him September, I haven't met him in person until that Friday. And so at the end of said date, I could care less what y'all talk about, you made a head in once, but he's mine now. <laughs> okay. I don't care about no X's. I don't care about no Y's. And I don't care about no Z's. Do y'all understand that? I'm not finna get up here and defend my happy relationship with somebody who don't have a relationship. I'm not finna defend my happiness to somebody who unhappy. I'm not finna defend my joy with somebody who is pathetic. I'm not finna do that. I did that for the I did that for a whole week. And let me see what I messed up in because I owe this man peace. This man, since we came out with what we got going on, and we have yet to have peace. Because all these haters is coming with something. I feel like I got to go fight them. I feel like I got to destroy them. I feel like I gotta cause they are only because they didn't care about him or what he was doing for these past six months. You ain't give a damn about him. You didn't give a you didn't you didn't care nothing what he was doing. All of a sudden. You see a post where you say I'm digging shaky, it's a problem. It's a problem. So you ain't so I brought this into his life, but I'ma take it out because I thought I had to destroy you. Destroy you. My music ain't loud. I don't have no music on. Y'all hear music? You 
you are unhappy, they are unhappy and they are miserable. And this is, they try to poke holes in everything. So this is the part I'm trying to make. And this is the part that's hurtful to me. The first thing they scream, oh shit, you're a paymaster, you paying him. My God. It don't matter what a person say. You're saying, this is what you're saying. You have no proof of nothing. You have no, you never asked me. Let me see. I, I will do this for you. I will show you my cash apps. I will show, he obviously missed this. I will show you PayPal. I, I, you know, I don't, y'all, anybody know me for any of the time, you know, I don't carry cash on me. Huh? The most I carry is maybe 20 hours. So I'm trying to figure out, you just automatically saying you have no proof of me giving this man anything. Except the only proof you may have is when we was on Bill Street, I bought the drinks. So, but you ignore the fact that we was on live when you put $100 in my purse. You gonna know the fact that he paid for every meal that we ever had. You gonna know them facts. You gonna know that. You didn't see that though. I guess you don't wanna see if you know what happened on live. You didn't know the fact that when I said come down, he paid for everything. You ignore that, huh? You ignore that. But oh, shaking you paying him because that's just what we feel like happening. Because you know what it? Because obviously nobody could like your fat ass. Nobody could like your black ugly ass. So obviously you're paying him. That shit is crazy. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and not give a fuck. But as the president of the Big Bitch Association, girl, I really, really realized that y'all people is crazy. How dare you? How dare you think that just because I'm this, I look like however the hell you think I look, that he has to, I have to be financially, I have to be financially, no, bitch, I cook good. I got good pussy. I got good mouth. How about that be some of the things? You almost say that? Bitch, <laughs> I've been sucking dick longer than y'all been alive, so you know what I, you know I know my way around a cock, bitch. Can, you, can it be just that I'm a good person? Can it be, it be like I'm smart? Can it be like, you know, can I be paying him attention? Can I be anything else? Oh, he a clout chaser. This man never asked me to post him not one time. We, this man never asked me to post him, shot him out, nothing. If I did that, I did that because I wanted to. Not because he asked me to. And that's, y'all gotta know, if it, you gotta think I'm a little bit smarter than that, huh? You got to think for once, can, can we give me the benefit of the doubt? For one time? I got to be a little bit smarter than that. You think I, I'm a professional cloud chaser. You think I don't know cloud chaser when I see one? He ain't always jumping in the picture. When we was in there, people taking pictures with me and, and one month, you know, chilling with me and I was shaking and doing a little thing. Guess what? He ain't doing that. He said on the side. Chill. I say let's take a picture when I want to take a picture. He never did. So my thought, my thing is, how's the account chaser if he don't want the account? And if you think he account chaser, just don't follow. If you think he account chaser, don't follow that nigga. But see, this is what I'm thinking. They don't want to see it because they really like him. You feel me? They really like him. They really want him. It's, I don't even think it's so much that they don't want me with him more than they want him for himself. So at the end of the day, it's like y'all bitches looking at me as if I'm not supposed to have nothing because I'm fat, especially not him, the one you want. Girl, stop. Thank you, Drew. It, it works. I know, sister. So at the end of the day, you bitches, and then it's all of you bitches is single. Every single, you look that good. You so fine, and you single. You look great. You are beautiful. And you're single? Make it make sense. How you telling me about what a man can want and you're a single? I'm not going to listen to no motherfuckers. Listen. Let me tell you something. Understand this. I'm about to break something down to y'all. Because we got this. And people listen to them and really think that shit fly like that. Let me tell you something. Check it out. Why on earth? Well, I listen to a single bitch telling me how to keep, get, or anything about my motherfucking man. You can't even get a man for yourself? How the fuck you gonna tell me something about it? 
That's like listening to a motherfucker walk and tell you how to get a car. That's like listening to a motherfucker. That's like listening to a broke bitch tell you how to get rich. Bitch, if I want to get rich, I'm going to go see what the fuck Warren Buffett and them do. Why the fuck would I listen to you broke bitches? You don't want to start your business because the broke hoe told you don't start no business. Bitch, if you know so much about motherfucking business, bitch, you wouldn't be broke yourself. So how the fuck you going to tell me something about what a man want, bitch, and you ain't got nothing? If you knew what a man want or what a man like or you curved it, you would have a nigga, right? Motherfucker so spiteful, so hateful, these motherfuckers made up a lie. You just couldn't see it happening so much that you made up a whole lie to try to insert yourself into my life, my personal real life. Girl, these people is crazy. Why the fuck would I listen to a motherfucker who don't drive tell me how to drive? If you want to listen to somebody, listen. Let, check it out. Don't ask me about losing weight. Because I ain't finished yet. When I finish, I can tell you. I'm fat, bitch. How the fuck you going to listen to me about weight loss? I can't have weight loss business, baby. So check it. Because, bitch, I ain't lost it all. I can tell you how to eat, though. If you need a, if you need a bitch to tell you how to eat, bitch, I'm your guy. If you need a bitch to tell you how to suck dick, I'm your motherfucking guy, bitch. I can tell you about that because it's something I do, it's something I know. Bitch, I can't tell you how to fly a fucking plane. If you need to learn how to fly a fucking plane and you call me, bitch, you calling the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> you need to learn how to motherfucking, bitch, I cuss a bitch out, I'm your guy. Right? Bitch, I don't know nothing about <laughs> You wanna know how to soap? I'm not the fuck, I don't know how to, bitch, you call it the wrong person. Shake it how you, you can't expect me to know what the fuck I don't motherfucking know. And we need to stop looking at the people who have no substance, substance to what you're thinking about, what you're doing. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? I will, I will listen to a grown woman that's been married 50 years. Before I listen to a bitch that ain't got no man about my name. You come and tell me about some motherfucking text, I'm warning you. Bitch, you don't need to warn me, bitch, you need to fire you a nigga. <laughs> that energy you spending warning me So I don't have a man You need to warn yourself that you don't have one And go find one You feel me? The fuck wrong with you people Bitch That's like Listen Why would I that, This could be this, uh, It's like y'all Judy Wear wigs But y'all listen to her about doing hair She wears wigs <laughs> Why Why do you sell me hair products to grow my hair when you, to grow your hair, you just get a bundle? <laughs> y'all don't make, does that make sense to y'all? Why are we like this, people? Why are we like this? So yes, I got a man. And yes, this is a different relationship that I have ever been in my entire life. This is, <laughs> this is how, yeah, it's, 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 Tell me how to get a bundle of sewing or something, but how the fuck is you gonna tell me how to get a motherfucking how to grow my hair, bitch? And you to grow your hair, bitch? You just you all a motherfucker, bitch? You all the twenty seven piece, bitch? How the fuck that work, bitch? You can't tell me nothing about growing hair, bitch. It's common fucking sense. It's common fucking sense. Y'all come and ask me about some shit. I don't know why these people are doing this, but and then these people hate me, girl. For and these people hate me, and I have done them nothing. I could, you know the only person right now, real, you let me say something. I was fighting them, but I'm paying them all dust now. But the only person I'd have had to eat shit crow from for talking about my new relationship is super stand herself. Everybody else, they go get, they get, cause, cause I talked about every relationship she ever been in. Except this new dude, cause he seemed to be all right. I ain't really talked about that. I did expose it because Fia said something wrong, but he was, he seemed to be all right. So I ain't really fuck with this one. I hope she happy. Go bitch ride his dick. Cause he look good. He find this motherfucker. I hope your motherfucker treat you good. Look like he treat you good. Got you smiling. He's, if you could get if you could get if you could get that choke off you, he really doing something. If you could get you to take that choke off. So what's his name? I forgot his name already. Razor? What's his name? Razor. If you can make her take the I can't be, I can't still but being shady that woman. That's sad. Shaky, you you sad for real. <laughs> you a sad bitch, bitch. I looked in the mirror and told myself that girl. <laughs> you a sad bitch, girl. You ain't have to shade her like that. You could have just you could have just been happy without the shades. You could have done that. You just so you just so petty and pathetic, bitch. Okay. 
like I was saying before myself rudely interrupted myself, bitch. If you could get her to take that choke off, he did something. Why would you listen to Super Saiyan? Why would you buy, why would you listen to her about putting on makeup when she be looking like motherfucking home at a clown every time she go out, bitch? <laughs> can't help it. Can't help it. I can't help it. Back to shaking. Oh, he's really shaking his back. Yeah, girl. I'm, I'm, I just had to tell myself, bitch, you was a sad bitch, girl. Let that that woman into it. You a bitch ass man. Let this. You got to stop, bitch. I'm, girl, you got to stop. That girl into it. You done to right. I feel like it's payback for something else, bitch. This <laughs> is part of fun, man. So I ain't really talk about this, man. I hope they're happy. I hope they do whatever they do, and 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 live their life and be. Do, Need some happy ass pumps or whatever, you know, put dice, whatever it is, but bumping the ass holes or whatever they're doing. I'm a Sagittarius. So, uh, girl, bitch, that's the only person I had to eat crow on if they said something on a relationship. I had to eat that crow. I gotta eat that crow. And that's being real. And that's being real. If she says something, I don't have to eat that crow. But anybody else, bitch, what the fuck does it matter? And then people feel like, and it was like, and then they lie. This is the lies part about it. This is the lie part about it. Because they feel like in their mind, well, he can't possibly be with you because of authentic reasons. He can't possibly just like you. He can't possibly just like or be attracted to you. He can't possibly be. Because I, I guess you're not or whatever. But, you know, so be careful because he wants something. Why he can't just like you? What's the problem? Why he just can't be like, you know, fuck it. So I said, I'm the L devil. Not the L devil. Not a girl. I hate y'all. So I'm trying to figure out if you just, so if that's the case, then you try to warn me, right? But you gonna come and do it on a global scale. You gonna come and tell everybody, wanna tell the whole fucking world. You have to motherfucking, you so fucking pressed. You so fucking engulfed. You so fucking concerned about what's going on. And have such concern and care for Shaky that you don't tell Shaky, you tell the world so they know. You don't come tell me. You don't slide my DMs, you don't send me no text, you don't We just go tell them. All. I'm just telling them. The world needs to know. I'm trying to help Shaky, but the world needs to know. They feel like, I, that's like, they're, they're basically saying you have the audacity to be happy. Like you a fat dude, stay in your place. You supposed to be unhappy. What? 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 It's truly a sad place. It's truly a sad spectrum that people think this is the type of acceptableness it is. And as a person, I never really paid to think people would care who I be with and what I do with them and all this stuff like that. You never think people just on that type of time with you. They really care. You know what I'm saying? And the people that do care, they come at you respectfully, they voice their concerns, and then you address it and you keep it moving on. But let me tell you something, um, sister, and explain something to y'all very clearly. So y'all know who the hell I am and what is supposed to be how that roll. Let me say something. You have a friend, right? I'm y'all friend. Y'all, I'm y'all friend. You know, we family, but we friends too. So let's, let's, let's clarify that. We are definitely friends, right? I view y'all as my friends. I really do. I view you guys as my friends. I fuck with y'all. So listen, as my friend, let's say for instance, you do right. I'm not telling y'all do wrong. If you have a concern about who I'm with, how I'm with them, if whatever. It's I it, it, you know, I invite y'all into my life. And so when I invite y'all into my life, that does come with an expectation that you'll be able to comment if you want to comment and stuff. But there's a way to do it in a respectful manner that makes sense and be plausible and then your comment and your and your opinion be well received. Okay? So listen. If you come, if you feel like I'm making a mistake, I'm too invested too soon, he using me for clout. He used me for this. He used me for that. And you come respectfully and voice your concern. I appreciate it. But this is not friendship at this point if you expect me to act on your concern. Okay? It is not friendship if I have to predicate my life based on your concern. 
hear me out what I'm saying. You voice your concern. And I say, you know what? Let me just break up with him because you're concerned about it. That's not fair to him. It's not fair to me. And let me see why that's, and that's really not fair to you. My point of life is to live it. Your point of life is to live it. You want me to do, you want me to do what you want me to do. I'm not putting no energy to him. I'm just addressing it with my people. Busted. Let me do me. Your job is to do this. Let me tell you, let me tell you, okay. Let me see. Let me explain something to you. You come to me as a friend and you be like, shake it. I'm back messing with my baby dad. And four times he cheated on you, four different women. You got two baby and other baby mamas on the side. Blase, blase, etc. etc. Right? I'm not finna tell you, don't mess with him again. I might say, girl, you sure? You be like, yeah, I'm sure. I love him. I'm back with him. I forgave him for all that and this and that. Right? I'm never going to tell you, girl, don't do that. You better leave him alone. You better go somewhere. You better run it high. I'm never going to tell you that. I'm going to say, yeah, that's good looking. Y'all look good together. If you need me, I'm here. All right? A few months down, the lady cheat on you again. I'm not going to be the friend to say, I told you so right now. I'm going to be the friend to say, what you want to do? I got a brick in a bank. Which one you want? <laughs> I got the three B's. The three B's we gonna need. We gonna need a brick, we gonna need a bag, and we gonna need some buying money. That's the friend I am. <laughs> That's the friend I want. <laughs> I don't want a friend that wanna live my life for me. I want a friend that's gonna be there when I need that shoulder to cry on, when I need that ear to listen to, when I need that brick, that bag, and that buying money, bitch, I need you, girl. That's the friend I want. That, Cause that's the friend I am, I'm gonna always give. You gonna do what you wanna do. You're gonna live how life you wanna live it. I'm not gonna live your life for you. You're gonna the only way you can understand, like we're put on life to experience. We're put on life to understand and love and 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 cry and suffer and joy and happiness, everything. So I wanna be, I'm your three B friend, not better business bureau. <laughs> Brick, bet, buy money. That's why I, I got all three. Whenever you ready, let me know. He done hurt you again, and you want all you want one of them? Holler at me. Cause I'm not the friend that's gonna tell you and live your life for you. Sister, you gotta do that. You gotta make the mistakes. Even though I might feel that might be wrong and I might feel that that I'ma support your decision, whatever it is to be. I'm gonna support you hundred percent. You wanna go and say, and when it and when it fucks up, I ain't even finna tell you I told you so. You know what? I'm be like, oh girl, well, come on, let me girl. I'm, I'm like, girl, come on, girl. Let me go and get this back, and we gonna go bust a tire or something, or whatever you wanna do. Put the fucking throw the brick through his window. He gonna call the police, and we gonna go to jail. But we gotta have our bad man. And that's all I'm asking y'all to do with me in this situation. Don't live my life for me. Voice your concerns. I appreciate that in a respectful way. Please do that. And cause y'all might see something I'm seeing. We, I'm digmatized. That boy got me digmatized. I can't see a motherfucker. Brian got me digmatized. Brian got me motherfucking lovematized. Brian got me spiritualized. I don't know. I think he could fly. I didn't, we ain't had a fuss yet. I really, if that boy tell me this, I'm about to fly there and flap my stuff, flapping his hands. I would believe he could do it right now. And I would no doubt my mind that he'll do like this again. So I don't see what you might see. You might see something I don't see. You might see a concern that I need to address. And I'm not saying don't verse your concern. Please do so. You looking at things objectively. I can't do that. I can't. Let me tell you something. If this man tell me, I bl if he tell me something that I know is plausibly impossible, I will believe it right now. You have to understand that. If he tells me he could, if he tells me he could, he could run faster than the bullet right now, I will, I will tell that bullet, bitch, you better slow the fuck down. I do feel a lot differently about him than I feel about the guy before him because for, for him, I don't feel like I don't feel like it's a pretense. I don't feel like it's a precursor. I don't feel like I'm defending my right to be in a relationship with him. I feel like I'm defending my happiness. I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm defending Somebody that won't defend me. 
or somebody that won't have my back or somebody that's trying I don't feel like you know it's, it's hard for me to feel like he using me but he never asked me for this and he stuffing a lot of dick in my back I want to have sex with him I never want to have sex with the, the last relationship I never want to have sex with him ever not one time that I want to have sex with him I, was, I, I actually almost dreaded it listen I see you still trying to give him peace or we eating him up he wanted, I'm giving, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. She asked if I'm giving him peace. He deserves peace in our relationship. He deserves it. Girl. Because we have had sex. I had sex with him the second day after I met him. I didn't want to do it the first day because that would be a horror. But I wanted to. I wanted to. I really wanted to. He could have got it that day. He could have got it that day. There's no question about it. When I met him, when I the, when I met him, I knew. I'm like, okay, this is, this is it. I'm, I'm fine. I, fi I feel like I finally won. I'm a gold medal. And a gold medal, I'm like, you know, that's what I felt like. So he could have got whatever he wanted that day. I let him fuck me and my pussy be hurt. I still let him smack. It would be hurting because he had a big deal. It's good. I don't like taking off. I, don't, I like medium sized dicks. I said that before. But his dick is under, it's really, really large and really, really fat. It doesn't even fit. Like, if you, like you, you, it's just like, it's huge. Ever felt like he was using you for clout? Somebody from using you for clout gonna ask you, oh, you could post this for me? You could do this for me? Something like that? He never said that. So I feel like he posted. Is, is he, so, uh, I don't know. So the cloud part about it is like what okay so at the end of the day this is why i don't think he uses me for cloud okay he's not stupid to who i am he's definitely google check and you could if you see what i have done to some people i don't think he want to be in that category like you know what i'm saying if you use me for cloud it's gonna end up It's going to end up coming to fruition. It's going to end up manifesting. And then when you do that, do you not see what happens to those people? What's going on in the room? Hello. 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 What deal? Uh, sorry, best. Sorry. What deal? I'm sorry. We are from dealer service, and we handle the renewal extension for Dodge nationwide. Okay, I got you. Which, so which, we are just two. Which dealer is you calling? From? Uh, sorry. Which dealer are you calling? From? Again, sir. We are from dealer service, and we handle the renewal extension for Dodge nationwide. And then all of your questions so will from, be discussed of your Dodge life. You're from the Dodge. Sorry? You're from the Dodge dealer. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. Anyway, thank you have. I just asked a question. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> I was just, like, just I just want you to tell me if you're from the Dodge dealer, huh? Stupid ass bitch. You call to try to interrupt my motherfucking life with my people. It's talking about the bitch. You asked me some motherfucker about them dealers. I'm so sick of them motherfuckers calling my phone. How do you stop that? That has to be against the law. I've asked to be taken off the mailing list. I've asked, I done did everything, bitch. I know it's a scam. I just be bluesing. One time, one time I stayed on the phone with the bitches an hour, bitch. Bluesing the fuck out. Bitch, that's an hour you couldn't call nobody else, bitch. Suck my fuck. That's an hour you couldn't call nobody else, faggy. You sue Capital One for that? Not Capital One. I need to sue them bitches. That's why I'm trying to figure out what dealer because I'm trying to sue them bitches. One time I told them I'm going to my email address and say E A T M Y A S S A F U C K S F U C K Y O U dot com. She was like, ah ha 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 ha. Hey. Hey. Yo, 
doing? Okay, how you doing? I was looking, I was like, you said shake your... <laughs> What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. Nice seeing you. If you need some break yesterday, we'll go get a Oh my God, a You all right? Thank you. You too, baby. Thank you so much. I love you. You heard me? Oh, just a little celebrity or whatever. Mm. I do. I love everybody that love me. She said she be on my page all the time. Why would I not? Oh, let me get my mask. Hold on. Because, baby, we don't do the COVID around here. Oh, baby, I'm, like, I'm just like a little light celebrity girl. Don't worry about it. I'm just a little light celebrity. That's okay with you? I could be a little celebrity? The fuck? Girl. That girl said she like, girl, let me, let me get me, okay? I'm not no motherfucker here. Yes, mask, 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 face mask. I don't do COVID. <laughs> what the fuck? Baby, I don't know about them other homes, but in my city, everybody knows me. The fuck you talking about? My state, my home state, bitch. Everybody know me. The fuck you mean? Other hoes be lying. Like they somebody. I'm a real local celebrity, bitch. Stop playing with me. They think they know me, bitch. I'm known, bitch, for real. In my hood, talking about somebody in Louisiana. No, don't know me. Somebody in Louisiana. For what? You sound die. I talked to somebody in Louisiana. They don't even know you. Who? I don't go a place. I was in Memphis and people stopping me, knowing me. I don't even know what you're talking about. So you know about Louisiana. Stop playing with me. People say anything out their mouth and go for it. And, other, and people and bitches go for it for no reason. Huh. You was waiting on air credit still to be posted? That's what you were waiting on? My man deserves peace. These pieces look good, but I might not fuck them. Cause I can't, I gotta watch my bread. Shit, bitch, I can't eat that bread. I might get one slice though. I'm trying to see. I came in here for me and cheese stick, bitch. That's what I came for. Hold on. Up the Thank you. Hey, how you doing? All right. Yeah, there's two in there. Oh, we, they don't know you. I talked to somebody in Louisiana. They don't know you. Girl, what? Girl, okay, that's on them. They must have don't, don't live in Louisiana, bitch. They must have they they been born in Oklahoma or some fucking way, bitch, and moved out here. Bitch. How much you live so far? I, um, I lost 40 pounds. I'm doing a thing called Dirty Keto Mixed with Workout. So I modified it for what I like it to be because keto is boring as fuck. So um, I modified it to some, some my situations with the ba basic same concepts, and it worked for me. Um, I've lost uh, a little more than 40 pounds, a little more than 40 pounds. Uh, and so I've been doing a dirty keto, but I also work out as well. But Snickers, no, you ain't get no Snickers. I get your water. So really today I'm just going to get, like I'm trying to get back into cardio, like my doing my walking and stuff, but I do have, been, I have been doing some lifting and stuff like that as far as the weights, so that I don't get like all that sag and stuff that people get be getting, because girl, you're in London on me, okay, yep, a half 
full oak, baby. It wasn't that hard either, like no shade. It was just like, I'm gonna tell you the hardest part about it for me was starting, no shade. But once I started, it kind of just became part of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that extra skin, that hanging shit look crazy to me. It's like, and so right now, I'm not as fat as I used to be, and I'm not as skinny as I need to be. And so it just gives me, like, I don't like, like, no shade is like, for me, it's like a psychological thing, like, it's weird as fuck. And so, like, I could eat, like, really right now, it's, I know right now I could really go either way. Like, I could either continue on, or I could just give up right now. Like, this is, this is not, the, the hardest part was starting, this is the second hardest part right now. Because, like, I don't, like, nothing fits me right. My, like, my clothes, my big clothes, they feel too big, and my smaller clothes feel too small. And so it's like, it's not a, it's like weird. I do feel better, no shade. And I haven't been doing it strict as of late because of the um, storm and I've been back and forth to Memphis a lot. But it's like, thank you, Miss Missy Jazzy, thank you so much. I can't believe the London people are watching the girl. But uh, so right now I feel like, I don't know. Snacks is a motherfucker. So treat yourself to shopping free. And then I have to move more with Again, well, I'm fucked up. This is really real right now. And so, I'm just trying to kind of I'm trying to get back on them. I had a real bad night last night. Bitch, I had, I went to the fucking, where did I come from? What was I doing? Or after we watch our show, I'm gonna do that for What do we do after we watch our show? Walked out from, oh, then I had to do some water. So I went to um, the stove. Get some water and got all kind of other snacks and shit that I didn't want. Fucking zebra cakes, not zebra cakes. The cosmic brownies got a new cosmic brownie, girl. It's all um, like a cookies and cream cosmic brownie. But it got little cookie pieces and cream pieces on top of the cosmic brownie, bitch. With the white icing on the cosmic brownie, bitch. And so you know what I had to do? I had to stop. I had to try it, I had to try it. Back on it today. It's not what you've done. Let the past go. Yeah. Nigga, how much you weigh, baby? If I'm in, I'm all in. How much you weigh, uh, Kiss? The reason I asked that is because part of the reason I didn't come, the part of the reason I don't talk about it much is because, um, everybody tell you what's right for you. And that'll discourage a big bitch. You know what I'm saying? As a big bitch, what the, the thing that discouraged me the most is everybody telling me the, the right way for them. And because my body's different, and they think they're helping, but they're not. 
And as a big bitch, you have to understand something. Like, I get it. And that worked for you. Whatever teas and drinking pomegranate, all that stuff, and it works for you. But, so what happens is, it works for you. And you think it works for everybody. But it doesn't. And you think you're helping, but you're really not. Because it becomes very discouraging. But when you try to work for you, and it don't work for me, it's discouraging. Now, I don't mind you come and tell me, okay, I did this and this one did it for me. I don't mind that. But don't come tell me, oh, this works. Go try this. Don't do this. Please. Because what happens is, it becomes a situation when I do try that, and I'm expecting all this stuff, and it don't work for me because it just don't work for me. My body not designed like yours. Or the, the physics of me ain't the physics of you. Or the willpower of me ain't the willpower of you. Or, you know what I'm saying? It's so many, it's so many things that could go in a difference. Because if there was something that worked for everybody, it would they would just fix the problem. Which obesity and all these diseases that come from it, like heart disease and diabetes and hypertension, all that would just be fixed with however we fix. That they would just do that. Now I get what y'all say. A lot of people say, oh, where's the doctors? They don't want you to get skinny and blah blah blah. And it's, it's the problems they get rich. Alright, I get that. I get it. I get it. But I'm just letting y'all know from, from from my perspective, it's literally you literally like for me, what works for me is working for me. Okay? Why I don't tell y'all what's working for me? Because it probably won't work for you. When I tell you I modify a dirty keto diet that fits for me, I modified it for me. I didn't modify it with my eating habits, with my physiology, with my bio, you know, like with my biology, with, with, for, it, it works for me. I have to understand my body. I didn't have to understand your body. I didn't have to understand what works for you. I have to understand what could work for me because I've tried everything that you've ever said before. Every pill I've popped it. Every motherfucking um diet I've tried it. Every shake I've drunk it. Every all oh, is not is not I, like nothing. So I had to find what was appropriate for me. You know, I don't. You know, I go to my doctor and I talk to my doctor and I tell him what I'm doing or what I want to try and stuff like that, and see if it's okay for me from, from a medical standpoint. But I had to find something that was easy for me enough to do. That I wouldn't get off it just for no reason. So I had to find something that worked for me. Where's this? So, so I so when it comes to like the weight loss things, I could never tell about how to lose weight. But I wish I, I wish I do inspire you to do find what works for you. It's some, some trial, it's some error, but it comes to understanding you. But you have people that around you that understand your body that you pay them to do that. You're a doctor. If you want to, you can get a nutritionist. Those people are nutritionists are and believe it or not, they know about nutrition. They know like different because there's different types of bodies, different types of things, and nothing is really universal. But a, a nutritionist can look at you and help you meal plan if that's the thing. Or um, you know what I'm saying? Because they understand your nutrition and they can understand for you. But don't go by what they just give it everybody else. Because it's I almost guarantee you. This is what I almost guarantee you. I did my own version of modified dirty keto. And I promise you this. It will not work for you. It will not. It works for me. But it will not work for you. And it may work for you if we have some things in common. As far as like, you know, how our bodies work. But it's, you still have to do your own, not just research, but your own understanding. And it comes to understanding how your body works. And that's those people that you pick to tell you these things. You got to make them ask them questions. They take your blood pressure, but do they, they tell you, do you ask, okay, uh, how do I lower it? How do I, you know, things like that. I mean, and there's some basic principles that's universal for everybody, I believe, such as, like, the cold drinks. Girl, we're not supposed to be drinking cold drinks like that. Sometimes it works more than I don't Everybody, cold drinks is not good for nobody. And I like a cold drink, but I just stop drinking. Like, gotta stop drinking. Gotta stop. Drink more water. Water works for everybody. That's easy. Eat more vegetables. That's really easy. That's pretty much working for everybody. Unless you have some type of colon issue. Where fiber hurts, or fiber's not good, 
pretty much because you're investing. Shit like that. It's so simple. Some people don't eat me, some people do. Some people get, you know, it's a difference. Alright, y'all. So, what I'm about to do is I'm about to get off here for a minute. Uh, I'm going to go to the gym, but I'm going to go to the gym on Beagle. I love y'all. It's so this bad for me. There's nobody that can say it. I love y'all. I love y'all. I will definitely talk to y'all later. I'll be going to Big Ghost to do my little exercise. Um, I'll be on there. I'll be in the place in about 30 minutes. 